This is an old teacherage that was built in 1910. This ended up being a place for teachers to live in the early 1940s. I guess they had difficulty finding places to live around here that taught in the area. Uh, because there were, you know, the old Mebane High School was actually around the corner from here, which my actually my granddad went to. But that's cool. I always thought this was a cool little... I used to think it was just a huge house, but I guess it, it's sort of a, an apartment type of complex. Maybe at one time, probably in the early 1900s, it was a, a house for a wealthy family. But I'm here in downtown, in the downtown Mebane area, which I've lived for a lot of my life. I've lived in Burlington a couple of times. I've lived in Hillsboro, which I work and I went to high school in the last few years of my, a couple years of my high school. And lived at, we lived in the, of course I mentioned before, in the campground there. But Mebane's a nice town. It's grown. It's, gr it's not the little town it was in the uh, 80s and the 90s. It's, uh, you know, there's a huge Tanger outlets now. There's restaurants and shopping centers are popping up everywhere it's becoming like any other city on every other american exit this is an interesting photo this is a picture of the miss tobacco contest in 1947. all oh, these young beautiful women were competing i guess for I don't know, it doesn't say who won. But it says it was directly across from the teacherage, which I just showed you. This little building right here, believe it or not, in the 1980s, I guess mid to late 80s, when we first moved here to Mebane, North Carolina, this was where we rented movies this was where we came and got vhs tapes but now it's a i don't even know if this place is open or not it's a snowball place i wonder probably looks nothing like it did when it was a yeah Oh crap, of course somebody pulls in when you... Now this is the Fisherman's Cove now, but this was once the uh, Hardee's. And it's, it was like the only place, one of like two places we had to eat in the whole town. And like I said, it was a small little rinky-dink town back in the 80s. It's nothing like that now, but... Yeah, this was the Hardee's, and this is back before even Hardee's. Hardee's wasn't what it is now. I didn't have the gourmet burgers like they have now, but you could get fried chicken there, and they had good peach milkshakes, I remember, and and uh, hamburgers were kind of small, and, you know, single size, you know. But it's hard to believe, though. That was years ago. This has been a, it was a Skids, and then it was a couple different things. It's been Fisherman's Cove for a while. It's actually a decent seafood restaurant now. But I remember after baseball games, us coming and getting food here. I wanted to, I remember pulling around. It still looks the same back here. And uh, yeah, yeah, you had the speaker was right here, or the menu, or whatever. And there was the good old Hardy's window. See, it, the place looks pretty much the same, except for it's a different place now. Kind of cool how they decorated it for the seafood restaurant. As you see here, this is an awesome mural painting 
done by a well-known artist. I don't know exactly, I'm sure the artist's name is on here. But it says it was established, ugh, established in 1910. Very cool though. Oh, Gats, Gatsby. Look, it says Mebbin, North Carolina on the license plate. Campbell suit cans. Five star building. This was Rice's Jewelry for many years and it just closed. I wish I could have got footage of it before it closed. I mean, I never came here. I mean, I never was a jewelry person, but oh well. No, it's Diamond Oil Training Center. I think from the research I did that this was the where the theater used to be. But I'm not for certain. But in the 1950s, this and the 40s and 50s was a theater. Um, the first one burnt down, and they had to rebuild it. Police office. Now that used to be the post office. Oh, Mebane Police Department. I mean, the Mebane Police. The police department used to be. The post office for many years. But this is Center Street. <laughs> Not much to it. Hmm. Now this old mural was done by a well-known artist. Actually, there's the name right there. Milton McDade did this. No, no, it was dedicated to Milton McDade, who was a town historian, but it was done by Ogden and Chuck Dill. As you can see, it's well faded, though. And this is what Mebbin would have looked like in the early 1900s. As you can see, the roses grew nickel and dime store and the Pinder grocery. I like the American flag right there. Looks like it was, yeah, they have the right amount of stars for the, for that time. Or so it was well, less than 50. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 